Shalom, brother Ara coming to you with another video. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth. Double Shalom to all you Akim and you Akwa, those with hopeful elect seeking for salvation. I want to bring out two articles and bring out some scriptures on the end time weather report. All right, you know, uh, brothers like to go into, you know, what's going on. As far as the weather goes, which is another sign of the Lord is visiting this earth. Okay. Um, this here is from, let's see, Yale Climate Connections. It says, Henry drenches northeast, death toll at 21 and catastrophic Tennessee flash flood. It says, it's been decades since an isolated U.S. flood event has turned so deadly. All right. Henry is referred to as the um, as a storm that's happening, I believe. Uh hurricane it says relentless rains continue to plague areas from from northern new jersey into southern new england as lackadaisical post -trop post tropical cyclone henry pushed across the area so this is a tropical storm it says uh, a much more uh, disastrous scene was unfolding west of nashville and tennessee Residents continue to assess damage and search for victims after a severe localized flash flood early Saturday took at least 21 lives. See below. So the Lord, the Lord killed 21 people. All right. After sweeping into southwest Rhode Island as a tropical storm with 60 miles per hour winds at midday Sunday, Henry moved west northwest all right, into the Hudson Valley of New York while slowing to a crawl heightening the risk of flash or, or salakia heightening the risk of flooding rains okay so i'm not gonna read the whole thing just want to hit the point okay that the lord is visiting the earth man and um this last one here is not a a long one this comes from uh kcra three news sacramento it says um and this is not a long one it says Caldor Fire stretch of Highway 50 remains closed as tally of destroyed homes increases. Okay, it says the number of homes confirmed destroyed by the Caldor Fire in El Dorado County continues to grow as crews try to protect structures since the fire jumped Highway 50, putting more houses and businesses at risk. The wildfire, which ignited August 14th, near Little Mountain between Omo Ranch and Grizzly Flats had burned at least 117,704 acres or over 183 square miles and was 9% contained as of Tuesday, Cal Fire said. So the Lord is visiting the earth with fire. We're going to bring it all out. Bring, bring the scriptures out. And we're going to close out. But this is an end time weather report. Things that are happening, the Lord's clearly doing all these things. Isaiah 29 and 6, it says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. There you go. The Lord is visiting the earth. He's bringing the thunderstorms, earthquakes, all right, storms, violent storms, loud, great noises, fire, wildfires. Okay, he's also bringing floods. When you read Isaiah 28 and 2, it says, Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hell and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. He's bringing floods. And I believe there was a major flood that uh, happened over in, um, ah, don't quote me on this, I think it was Greece. I can't remember, I did a video on it. Um, one of those you know uh countries over in europe okay but um the lord is making it known his presence and he's uh he's coming at this earth in di many different angles man with the plagues he's bringing uh second Ezra, the ninth chapter verse one all right so much going on here it says uh he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which i have told thee before Okay, these the different weather patterns that are going on, the earthquakes that are happening, these are all part of the signs, uproars of the people, civil unrest. Australia is off the chain right now. 
Okay, Australia is going through a major, major um, civil unrest. Okay, and they went through uh, wildfires, I believe. They had uh, a plague of, um, I can't remember exactly what it was a plague of, but it was uh, a plague of some type of animals. Uh, I think rats. Okay, these are all signs, man. It's happening not just in Australia, but across the four corners of the earth. Verse 2 Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So the Lord is visiting the earth, man. All right, verse 3 Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, okay, one of the signs, and we know earthquakes is at all time high. Uh, it's never been like this ever, you know, uh, ever in time, man. This many earthquakes, you know, per hour, per day, per every week, every month. It says an uproar of the people in the world. All right. There was a shootout between Antifa and the, and the Proud Boys. Okay. Then you have uproars again in Australia, different parts of Europe, South Africa, Cuba, Haiti. All right. It's going down, man. It says um, in verse four. I'm going to hit this point and um, bring one more scripture. I'm going to close out. Verse four. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee. Even from the beginning. So Lord making it clear. Okay, that he's getting ready to come back. He's making it known his presence, that he's visiting the earth, storm and tempest. Okay, these violent storms and different things that are happening. Alright, Jeremiah 23 and 20. The anger of the Lord shall not return. So the Lord is angry with this place. He's pissed off all the abominations that this place promotes. Which is ran by the wicked, all right? The Edomites, the so-called white people, and they—they've the wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful words have been fulfilled. So their time is up, all right. And the Lord is angry, and He's destroying a lot of people. The scriptures say He killeth and maketh alive, so He's killing a lot of people. Yahweh Shem Shai is doing this, all right. It says until He have executed, until He have performed the thoughts of His heart, okay. Until He has performed, He's going to execute vengeance on this place, and only. The uh, elect is going to be protected. The elect of the nation of Israel is going to be protected from these plagues. Death, famine, destruction, uproars of the people, civil unrest, the sword. All right. Famine, if I didn't mention that already. All right. All these are different plagues. Okay. It says, um, in the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly. Consider means to ponder. And so if you're diligently measuring the times, you clearly understand the times we're living in. You understand that the Lord is... Uh, He's visiting the earth. You understand that we are in the last days of this wicked rulership. And Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, is getting ready to pop up on the scene once this last prophecy clearly is manifested, which is about to happen. The MOTB, which we know is the RFID chip. All right. We're, we're closely uh, at the doors of these things, man. And the Lord is visiting the earth and he's going to destroy more people. Especially two thirds of our people who don't want to seek them. So, just want to bring that out. Okay, you see it. Okay, the Lord is visiting the earth. It says, uh, "Tropical storm Henry drenches northeast. Death toll at 21, which what we know of, right? And catastrophic, ca catastrophic, so like it, catastrophic Tennessee flash flood. All right. So there you have it. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.